The next event on the program is the final of the female school eight open division two. Crews involved would be Carey, Caulfield Grammar, Geelong College in station four, lane four, Geelong Grammar lane five and Wesley College in lane six. So these two crews, Geelong College and Geelong Grammar, battling this out in the final of the School 8 Open Division 2 for girls. These crews had a, a tough row over the head of the school girls regatta. Geelong College coming out on top with Geelong Grammar coming first in the B final. But Geelong Grammar hoping to turn the tide a little bit today and are currently out in front of the Geelong College crew. The Geelong Grammar crew of Cat Hill, Georgie Manifold, Georgie Biggs, Indy Kebble, Hannah Hagee, Sammy Sutherland, Sibylla Keogh, Edwina Jackson in the stroke seat, coxed by Heidi Blythe and coached by Courtney Blythe. Currently neck and neck as the ratings keep swapping and changing. Geelong College have put their bow slightly in front here as they come towards the 1,000 metres. They're now pulling away with a rating of about 37, which is a nice high rating for a girl's crew. So the girls are rowing very well. This very determined Geelong College crew here, they, they rowed beautifully last Sunday on the Barwon to take out the final of the Division Two head of the school girls eight. And looks like that they are performing well again today. They're currently half, three quarters of a length in front of the Geelong Grammar girls who will be determined to try and row over the top of them in this last thousand metres. Over to Caulfield Grammar, currently in third place, Chloe Mitchell, Sophie Adam, Jasmine Routley, Jordan Duckett, Alexandra Ferguson, Anna Upton, Phoebe Elliott, Amber Nilsson stroking the crew with Isabella Noy in the coxswain seat. And it's Geelong College now who have lifted their rating through the 1,000 metres, 37, 38 strokes per minute, a very polished unit coached by John Hill and Rebecca Whittacombe. The rivalry on the Barwon coming up here to the Ngambi Lakes. Both these crews having, with schools having been in the heads of the river since 1981, battling it out here in the female school eight division two with plenty of parent support and school support coming from the banks here of Ngambi Lakes. Anxious parents having had a lovely lunch, now making sure that their girls safely propel their boat from one end of Ngambi to the other at the magnificent Ngambi Lakes course here. The blades glistening in the sunshine, sparkling water, nice and flat, perfect rowing conditions for the girls here today as they settle down now from the 500 metres to the 250 mark is often a place where you'll see a little bit of movement in the crews but this Geelong College crew are well covered, the Geelong Grammar crew. Geelong College rowing very nicely, thinking about lifting their rating somewhat as they approach the 250 mark, putting on a display here of girls eight oared rowing. A wonderful effort for these girls in Division Two of the female school eight. Geelong Grammar girls have lifted their rating. They certainly are not done. They've got another 250 metres to go and I know that they'll be giving their all. They've been working very hard, trying to put some pressure on this Geelong College crew, but the Geelong College crew are well and truly out in front. Two and a half lengths in front of the Geelong Grammar crew with Caulfield Grammar back in third place, Wesley on lane six and Carey in lane two. The girls from Wesley, Francesca Fraser, Maya Anderson, Georgie Mason, Naya Caddy, Hannah Burke, Gemma Tui, Penissa Ongwart, Chloe Michelle, Holly Peters the Cox, and coached by Rachel McCloskey. But as we come to the last 100 metres, the Geelong College girls are looking resplendent in their green with red ribbons, crossing the line, nearly three lengths ahead of the Geelong Grammar crew. So congratulations and a huge cheer for the girls from Geelong College as they take out the female school eight division two, followed two lengths behind by Geelong Grammar School, also looking gorgeous in their blue ribbons. Caulfield Grammar will finish in third. Wesley College comfortably in fourth place at the moment. So Caulfield Grammar getting the nod from the judges as third. Wesley College 
in fourth place, 